Hey everybody, another video. Um, just wanted to go over um, some information. So sometimes when I'm traveling, what I'll do is I'll set up a security camera in my hotel room. Um, and what I like to use are these Wise Cams. They are inexpensive, uh, about 30 bucks for the version three, which is pretty nice. Version two, you can still hook up to like a door sensor and a motion detector. So if you wanted to uh, deploy that in the hotel room. That's pretty easy to do. Um, but the issue that I run into sometimes is at some hotels, they want you to agree to your term to their terms and services before you're allowed to connect this to their Wi-Fi. And because you can't agree to anything using this device, um, it's it's sometimes difficult to do. So the steps that I go through typically are. Um, Got to find the MAC address of the Wise Cam, and then once I have that, I use that MAC address to spoof the MAC uh, using my laptop in order to agree to the terms of services. So um, step one, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, find the MAC address of the Wise Cam, and you have to connect to the Wise Cam um, in order to. Uh, find the MAC address and you gotta open the app. Uh, sometimes if I'm trying to do this, if I forget to do it and uh, I'm trying to do it at the hotel, I've got two phones. So I'll use one phone as a hotspot in order to dial into this guy. Uh, so, so sometimes that's a workaround. Uh, once you've actually dialed into the camera, you wanna hit this little sprocket for the settings top right. And then once you're in that area, you wanna scroll down to the bottom and where it says device info you want to click on that one and then right near the top it's going to show you what the mac address is and you want to write this down or take note of it and this is the information that we're going to spoof using the laptop so with the laptop what we want to do is um, go to our device manager if you don't know how to get to your device manager just use this little uh, search option uh, once you get into your device manager, we're going to go down to uh, network adapters. Once we're at network adapters, it'll open up like this. What we want to do is click on advanced. And then under advanced, you're going to see something. Um, when, when I do this, I'm usually plugged into their network. So I'm um, over here in network adapters. I'm uh, right clicking on that to find the uh, properties of the um, the actual NIC and not the wireless. So um, after you right click on the NIC, go to properties, click on the advanced tab, click on network address, the MAC address of that Wise Cam, you would enter it right here and then you would click OK. I'm going to cancel out because I don't want to change it right now. And then from there, what you would do is um, open up a web browser and then um, most likely what's going to happen is when the web browser opens up it'll take you to the terms and services of the hotel you click agree and the most important part now is we want to disconnect our laptop from the network and then plug our wise cam into the network uh, or, or power it back up, you know, so um, this is Wi-Fi. So um, we've authenticated to the network. We've agreed to the terms and services, basically. So once that's all in place, then this device should be allowed to connect to the network. That's my little um, workaround that I've had to do a couple times and uh, it works for me. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, hit me up below with any questions or comments, and uh, thanks for watching.